Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be working on the Mercedes 300 CD Tesla Swapped Coupe. And what we are doing is doing some upgrades. So if we walk over here, we have a ginormous crate and some other smaller crates. So in this crate is a brand new Felton battery pack, 55 kilowatt hours. It's actually two packs, a main pack and an auxiliary pack for fitment purposes. And then inside of these crates, there's also an air ride system as well. So we are going to be putting a bigger battery pack in, having electric air conditioning, and we're gonna be doing air ride. So we could slam it even further down when it's parked than what it is right now. So we got a lot of work ahead. Our first step here is getting everything out that's battery and charging related in this car because we have a new charger with our new battery pack as well. So, put this up. Here is our existing battery pack. It's a 2012 Chevy Volt battery pack. There's a second pack to where the gas tank was and in the transmission tunnel. So what we're gonna have to do is take this cover off undo all of our battery connections. And then once the batteries are disconnected and safe, we'll move, remove them one by one. Underneath this battery pack is our charger unit. We'll have to drain our coolant system because all of these batteries and the charger are coolant fed. And pretty much just strip out everything. We could leave our high voltage wires and a bunch of our low voltage wiring here to hook up to our new pack and adapt. So yeah, first step, safety first. That shuts off our battery from the drive unit, our control box underneath, everything. Then we could get this hood up in the service position and start dismantling. All right, now that the cover's off, you can kind of see all the nuts and bolts. So this is the switch from the outside. Here's our main connections from each battery pack paralleling on this side. This is outgoing to the Tesla drive unit. Then we have one, two, three Chevy Volt modules. That makes up a whole pack from the original car. And then each of these is a BMS uh, satellite. So each one of these goes to each individual cell. There's 96 cells here in series. And these are responsible for taking each cell signal, com combining them into a data wire here, two wire signal that goes back to the controller. So I'm gonna start by disconnecting our high voltage cables. I'll take the one off here and the ground off that side, this, they're in series, so it's going like, like this all the way to, to there. But our other battery pack is paralleled and live on the back side. So once I take this line off, I still want to wrap it in tape until I get the rear ones disconnected. Same with the ground side to make sure that just in case stuff moves while I'm working with it, it's not going to hit anything. Once I get those disconnected, I could disconnect our series wires here and here. And then I could go ahead and start disconnecting all the low voltage battery management stuff. All right, now that we removed the panel that used to house where the gas tank was, you can see the two other large Chevy Bolt modules from the second pack. This on top is our vacuum reservoir because we got vacuum locks that still work. And then this is the pass through where all the coolant lines and the high voltage and low voltage controls go through. So I'm going to start by removing our high voltage lines at all these spots. That'll disconnect these batteries from the high voltage orange lines that run to the front of the car. And then there's one more pack into the transmission tunnel. So I'll lift it up, disconnect that, and then everything will be completely disconnected and ready to drain the coolant. All right, so now we could actually get the battery up here, but the terminal is way too high. We're gonna have to drop the battery down before we get to it. We'll use a transmission jack under this plate here. But in order to get that down, I had to take down this, which I could show you is my shifter control. So I have my shifter still selecting drive neutral reverse. I'm using the stock neutral safety slash reverse light switch to get 12 volt signals here and our linkage connects, stock linkage connects to here. I had to modify because this is actually sitting, you know, with a custom plate on the transmission shaft. So there's our shaft that's 
pin welded in a different spot. But it works really well. I had to take it down, obviously, to get this battery out. There's also a relay, weatherproof relay, hanging up right there. And that's what clicks all these signals to give me a drive signal. So now that I know I got this front connection off of here, now I know that this is safe. Now I can go ahead, finish taking out everything in the back and start pulling batteries. All right, the next step is draining the coolant out of the system. Coolant runs through the batteries in the charger. So before we pull the batteries, you gotta drain all the coolant out of them. So easiest spot to get to it is probably around here. There's a bunch of other lines too. We'll see where there's a good connection. But first, I'm gonna get rid of the front skid plate. That way we can see up in there and uh, find the best place to dump it all into this bucket. We have all of our batteries stripped, all the wiring pulled out, all the coolant drain on the battery side of the system. Next step, we're gonna put this up in the air and then we're gonna take out all the components that are mounted to the bottom of this box and then finally take out the box itself at the end. Then we'll be free and clear to make way for our new battery. All right, we got all the batteries and the battery box and the charger and the DC, DC to DC converter out of the engine bay. Also, the cooling fans are out as well. So next, we got a jumble mess to clean up. Uh, a lot of this stuff is gonna be unnecessary. It was for the Chevy Bolt battery management system. We don't need to have all these factory Chevy Bolt wiring harnesses. Also, there's a wiring harness to the charge port that goes back there under the gas tank lid. And that is going to change as well because we're gonna have fast charging capabilities. So we're gonna start to get in here, clean up all this stuff, get rid of anything we don't need, keep stuff we do need. It's nice we already have some harnesses running from the front to the back that we could just repurpose for communication, data, whatever we need running to the trunk where the second battery pack is gonna be. So let's get this looking good. Now that we have all the unnecessary wire moved out of the way, we can pop the top on our crate and we're gonna see what we got. First time checking it out. Bunch of packing material. Let's see here we got a Fi charger with connectors, T pack connectors, and the uh, CCS fast charging port accessories. And I'm assuming this guy is our main battery pack right here. And Got some other boxes down here. Something big and heavy right here. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to use two hands to explore more of this, but uh, I'm gonna quickly just go through, make sure everything's here, and then start to take some measurements and see how it's all gonna fit in the car. Okay, we got everything unboxed. Here we got all the wiring harnesses and connectors. That's gonna come with the install. But first we got our main battery pack. So we have this one here, this one over here. Just like before, these two are gonna be split up. Uh, this is gonna go where the fuel cell used to go. If you check it out, they got some cool billet, nice bling bling on there for a cool entry and exit. These are really nice looking packs. And if you check out this one, it kinda has shape of an actual small block engine so we got like an oil pan back here a block up here and that makes it real convenient for fitting into a mercedes or lots of other va applications and in order to get it to fit in we're gonna have to fabricate some motor mounts kind of like the ones that it came on the pallet with but you're gonna have to wait till next time because that's what we're gonna do we're gonna fab up motor mounts for both these battery packs get them installed. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.